So Jumbotron is made of two parts. We've got the top part with the screens that you shoot, then you have the bottom part, which is essentially a turret. A few weeks ago, I made a video showing you how to make a turret. So half of our work is already done. Go watch that video after this one if you're interested. All we need to do, shrink this down a little bit, bring them up like the entire thing, move it up. Now half of our Jumbotron is already done. You might have to make some little adjustments here and there. All right, so now I've kind of, you know, changed it just a little bit to make it a little bit more Jumbotron-y, but now we need to focus on doing like the screens, the actual kind of top bit. I'm just gonna real quick kind of construct a basic version of, of that, um, and you'll see it in the time lapse, I guess. So I wanted to use uh, Barry for our monster face. You know, Jumbotron has their little face. So what we've done here is we just have the kind of, you know, the regular like bit, like the back bit. And then this is our screen. So I've only made one right now. We're gonna end up with four of them, just like regular Jumbotron. But I only made one because what we have to do is kind of get all the circuits and everything worked, worked for the one and then we can just clone it and add it to the other sides. So if you notice on Jumbotron, whenever you shoot one of the screens, it shakes a little bit. So we need to set that up and we're gonna use an animation controller for that. So what I did was I just kind of set up some keyframes that were almost in like random positions, sort of just kind of moved it around randomly. And then I kept it as, you know, the frame is four seconds, but then I just took the speed up to 10. There you go. You can imagine that like it's getting, oh, it's getting hit, you know what I mean? Now we need to make it so that when you actually shoot the thing, it'll vibrate. I think in Rooms 2.0, you can use the actual like circuits made for the object to do it. In Rooms 1.0, we can do it either with the projectile launcher or with the gun. Because this is a, you know, just a little example room thing, I'm just gonna do it with one gun. If this video gets enough likes, maybe like 200 likes, there's no way you guys are gonna get that. I'll make it into an actual room and like publish it, like RCL's Jumbotron or something. All right, so this is the board for the laser pistol. We're gonna go in here. We have uh, the event receiver when the object gets hit, we get the data, we run it on one person system, and then we send this event out that just says, hey, a screen was hit and it records the object that was hit. Then we come over here and it's gonna check. It's, we're gonna, we're gonna make three more screens and we're gonna, you'll see, we'll have animation gizmos with them. And we'll have a tag, like screen one, screen two, screen three, screen four. We'll put tags on all of them. And then if it has tag one, we play animation one. If it has tag two, we play animation two, three, three, four, four, and on and on. So in Jumbotron, it seems like there is a life bar and I don't think you can add life bars to objects. We'll have a giant text up top that is like the health. See, now we need to record the actual health of not only the entire boss, but also the individual screens need to have life. Health for screen one, health for screen two, health for screen three, health for screen four, and then overall health. So let's just say we're gonna use the damage that the guns already have. Range weapon set, requiem object damage. Well, okay, so it should be whatever's out here, which is zero. Let's change it to 10, everything's 10. So if it's gonna do 10 every single time, you know what I mean? We only wanna, we wanna test it, so we'll do three shots. So we'll just do 30. So I think we're gonna have to end up hooking all of these up over here. Once one of these is hit, we need to subtract the damage from whatever their health variable is. Let's go ahead and add another property to this to send the damage out. So the damage should be 10. So it should output 10 here. Every single time I do circuits, I get to the kind of this part and I'm like, okay, like we can, there's a better way to do this. There's a better way, there's a more efficient way. Maybe I can do like a, a damage sending type event or something. Instead of having to make another subtract, another subtract, another subtract, there's gotta be a way that updates the overall health, and then once we update the overall health, we want to have a giant text up here that kind of starts, that kind of tells you the total health. The next problem I guess we tackle is once it hits 30 or whatever the damage is, we need it to kind of explode and disappear. With that, we're going to have to set each of these up to like check if fuck kind of because we need to check if equals zero then set off an, an explosion emitter and also set set position of the screen somewhere where we can't see it another part of this is that these variables aren't set when the game starts or when the room starts and i need them all to be set so 
Again, I feel like all of these could be set up like as their own events instead of it being one giant graph. It seems it's gonna get real messy real quick. I don't like the fact that it's gonna spaghetti into here. It's gonna spider into here. I don't like that. I'm gonna do an event. I'm gonna make an event for updating the health. So I don't know how useful or helpful this video is gonna be, but what I've done, okay, God, it looks like a horrible mess. Um, <laughs> so we did all the stuff we did earlier, right? But now, oh man, that looks horrible. Whatever, I basically just took this stuff up here where it if the if the health of the individual screen equals zero then we do an explosion then we set position of the, the screen up above so you know, nobody can shoot it anymore. so i know this wasn't the most cleanly done video it's kind of a i'm in a weird transition period i i, I said on a live stream the other day like i think i'm kind of done doing tutorials i still do circuits but it's gonna be more stuff where like i'm building and you got you know i'll have little sections where i show you bits but i'm not gonna do a full-blown tutorial anymore i don't know it's new we're trying it out things have to evolve and change so anyway if you're interested in this type of video here's one similar and uh rco man out